Welcome back, basketball fans. Welcome back. So the past two months, we've had a lot of Kenyan basketball. We had the Kenyan Morans going to Angola and the participating in the FIBA Afrocan. We covered it in this on this channel extensively, and also not not long, not too long after we had Team Kenya, the three x three teams, Team Inyati, going up against every nation in Africa in the 3x in the FIBA 3x3 Nations League in Algeria then also we had two players going going to the NBA Africa camp in Johannesburg South Africa so we had a lot of things but right now we we're just coming off um the Giants of Africa festival which was in Kigali Rwanda which was honestly spectacular phenomenal You've seen a lot of players just uh, get that exposure in there. So for the past like two two months, it's just been um just been so eventful, especially with uh, the our athletes outside going outside, just um, just playing and just getting that needed much needed exposure and just seeing like how outside looks, especially like especially when it comes. To continental basketball and also the inside uh we just we just came off like the kbf finals i know they happened way back in june yeah at the start, start of june so there's a lot of things that have transpired and with regards to local basketball continental we had kp just winning we also covered that on this channel but in this channel uh, in this like um video in particular I don't know. What, I don't know why I've said channel, but in this video in particular, we'll just uh, just give a brief overview on what has transpired. I know I've made a couple of videos just dissecting play by play the FIBA Nations League three x three. I made an effort to talk about every single game that I watched, and oh my God, we had like our moments, especially the men's team. The men's team was just, you know, just not, they were just out of it. And, and they just had no answer. They had no legit, like, way of winning basketball games consistently. But the women's team was phenomenal. They won it all. They won three stops. And uh, it, it was just something great to see. But when you look at um, our outings, continental outings, they have not been that much encouraging, even from 5x5, 3x3. And on, on the men's side, I know last year we had a dark year in regards to the national teams. But this year we had an attempt to turn it around, but still corruption and, and like the way the federation was running things wasn't the greatest. And even with mentioning the federation, we have like that ongoing like court ruling that KBF somewhat are trying to like, you know, be in contempt to. Yeah, especially with regards to the AGM, they have to like go back and do the AGM, and this it's just a whole other, just a whole other like you know, uh, scandal that is is just crippling like KBF, and one thing that I've seen w with KBF just having so many scandals like this, it has really like uh watered down, like what we needed to to do. To be able to like get into that level where we're able to ne be in a negotiating table with like the BAL, FIBA, because looking at the landscape of continental basketball, nobody's paying too much attention to Kenya with regards to like um, how we are how we are conducting our basketball operations, and honestly, they've just been so deplorable. I have looked at a lot of uh, film. I've looked at a lot of like I've had a lot of like uh, issues with KBF, even a film of the games, just looking at how we are playing and even looking at the off-court issues that are really like hampering our progress. They have they have just led to us just being totally I don't want to say ignored, but we've just been put on the back burner. We're not seeing like we're not being seen or being respected as a country that can produce good basketball players or even conduct, you know, sporting activities. And what makes it even worse is um, countries like a country like Rwanda just invested in a very good state-of-the-art arena 
this looks like the crab they looks like the crypto center in, in in LA and we've had them hosting the FIBA women's afro basket not too long ago about a week ago two weeks ago we've had the BAL five the playoffs and finals they they were held there in May and right now uh, we're just coming off like uh Rwanda just hosting the the Giants of Africa festival by by just you know providing a good venue and 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 providing like you know a place where you know athletes can come in and congregate and be together so you're seeing Rwanda just coming and passing us and it's just been um honestly it's just it's just been a very hard thing to see and you can even see like even a betting company like bet power just signed a deal with with the uh, Rwanda the Rwanda Basketball Federation Fawaba to change even the name to bet power playoffs just to like you know sponsor in there and also not to mention i almost even forgot like the 5 year deal that Fawaba signed the the basketball federation of Rwanda signed with the BAL to go to like host their game so you're seeing I mean, all all roads just head to Rwanda, especially when it comes to like you know, producing like giving the like, good venues and in and and appreciating like basketball, and I know I know we 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 it's not like um it's not like a slight to us, but honestly, if you look at the way the we are we conducting things, we're not creating an environment where you can be able to like. Uh, invite or even like bring on these guys to be able to like invest in us so we're just on the receiving end of a lot of L's especially continental basketball even with Rwanda not being able to perform that well especially when it comes to continental basketball you can see their business uh, their business acumen especially when it comes to knowing this sport and trying to tap into this sport and trying to make sure to capitalize on it with good venues, good facilities, something that we don't have. With our poor outings and our lack of like leadership, especially when it comes to like streamlining the federation, streamlining like basketball activities in the country, we're just on the receiving end of like, you know, these offers just slipping away. We don't have a state of the art venue. And this has been one thing that has led us to lose a lot of games because as much as we train in our facilities like the Nyan National Stadium, Ulinzi Sports Complex, Kasarani Stadium, still we are not producing the best. Even looking at like the way the athletes are, you can have an athlete be talented, but given like the spare parts and facilities we are working with, they are really hampering our productivity. And something that I've noticed is when I come out and mention these things, I don't know they just keep taking exception and they just come out and these people <laughs> i mean these federation minions come in and try to like you know try to silence it and try to make it as if everything is okay but it's not okay it's not okay to have like um a mediocre federation that is being taken to court just because of their sheer impunity and their impunity has bre uh, uh, has led to like the total incompetence and rot because as much as kbf is known for corruption corruption brings in comp breeds incompetence and incompetence breeds failure and all the things that you've seen like they've tried to mask and try to like hide and try to like you know just hide so that people cannot know what they are doing it just manifests itself in like the results that we're getting failure after failure after failure even on kind of, even when it came to like the three x three the men the men just really let us down they even went they even had like a three x three before like they they played the the men who were there played in, in in tunisia i mean they played in egypt or tunisia i'm not sure one of those two countries i know they played there and they had an underwhelming performance despite you know like all the all the hope that they were given and the women just did not disappoint. They made it to the finals, although they didn't win it. But they learned from their mistakes because the teams that they fa they faced at that time, they were to face them this time in the FIBA 3x3 Nations League. And they learned from 
what the mistakes that they made and they improved on that and won three stops while uh the men's team has just been on a on a steep regression i'm not going to talk about the kenyan runs because i feel like we've talked about them for so long uh i've talked to, i i've made countless number of videos especially dissecting what really happened and i'm not going to get too much detail but long story short poor preparation and blame game i saw a, a podcast from <laughs> from open runs by uh okal it was funny he had like some choice words to say and it, it was just interesting to hear like uh the insights that this guy had and like the his valiant effort to like defend like the national team the legacy players i'm not going to get into much into that because man it's it's just funny to see just go make sure to go check that out on spotify i mean just go have a laugh there because <laughs> it's funny but please make sure you you know comment down in the comments what you think should i react to that podcast because man it was just funny to hear and i i just <laughs> i was just I, I, I was just dying as my lungs were just you know almost like get, getting out of my chest because like of the of the delusion meter that was there so i'm not gonna get much to that but if you want me to make a video talking about that please comment down below i will surely deliver that to you but i'm not gonna talk too much about them because uh, i feel like they're a waste of time and right now we're just gearing up towards looking at the fiba basketball world cup and so speaking of that south sudan have just been phenomenal they have been they have been very sensational they have found that way to like you know win basketball games in africa they are going to represent us there are one out of five countries that are slated in there they're going to match up against serbia a couple of teams in there and i'm just excited to see them and i'll also be dropping uh, videos just talking about them and their progression because they have just been great and speaking of which like right now we're just gearing up to watch that and this is just going to be that tournament that is just going to crown like who is the best nation in the world especially when it comes to uh the fiba the, the fiba world cup i know the olympics are right around the corner like they are next year and i know team usa they're just gearing up they didn't bring out like the olympics team they just brought in like you know some guys you know some um good role players from the teams just to you know just get some miles on their tires especially when it comes to like con world worldwide basketball not continental but worldwide so that's one thing that I, I i liked i liked watching and looking at like our state in in africa in kenya especially our basketball is just seriously on life support i i, I don't even know like if there's any way to fix this because we've we have people who have been elected and they just don't even know how to do their jobs i know they they can come out and try to say that they are doing their best but we cannot substitute you know uh you cannot substitute like you know trying to do something and and trying to be competent in doing something if you're not competent in doing something you're not going to deliver things the right way okay you're competent in doing things but you you just you just don't have the right strategy to go about it so they just don't have a good strategy to go about things they have been um i can i don't want to say guesswork but they have been like you know half assing a lot of things like especially when it comes to like botching the national team they have botched a lot of things there even the 3x3 teams they have just been uh, concerned with traveling with the national teams especially having those outings outside the country they have been very active in that and even in their recent like uh, the time that they went to like watch the the team Kenya in the FIBA 3x3 Nations League here back here in Kenya in Nairobi those are ruling that you know say that the AGM was shambolic and somewhat exposed like their operations so back at home their house was on fire while they were just outside in Algeria thinking that they are not going to come back but they are back and they're just going to be dealing with these said issues. So one thing that I must say is this, right? The 
the whole federation needs to this just, just need to calm down and, and they should just resign because they have shown time and time again they don't don't have the ability to to deliver anything to the basketball fraternity and one thing i i even saw is these are elected people an elected person can win an elections i can win an election not an election can win an election and not have the know-how or ability to to even lead or even guide we're seeing people who won elections and they are not competent enough to be to know even understand their roles the only thing that they know how to do is just fly out the country and just waste taxpayers money with their airfare and just pick teams based on like how they know people how they know each other and the the mafia that is the Kenya Basketball Federation Federation has made this a norm which should be condemned and honestly this is the main reason as to why we are we're not growing uh, as 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 a sporting nation and the results just tell us the whole truth because we have been so incompetent year after year and you've not been able to produce anything significant through the years and majority of the time you can throw the it's just been like you know a game of hot potato especially when it comes to like you know finding a way to consistently like uh, get basketball going you've seen you've seen the federation fail time and time again especially since the last time like um doing the afro basket we had that issue with the FIBA World cup where they didn't have fair this time they didn't this time they had the money to do to go out there but they didn't even have the technical know how to win a basketball game and this was this was funny I, I, it was just interesting to see but man I, I this was just a freestyle video i just wanted just to like um just mention these things and i'll also go into them in depth in later videos but feel free to you know share what you think in the comment section i am open in my dm so if you want to talk about things we can set up and also i'm open to like guys coming on the show so yeah near to basketball radio podcast uh if you want to feature in the podcast or even give like some insights on what you think please comment don't even comment let's just hit me up on my on my socials my dms are open just make sure to you know um hit me up so i can just set it set it up and we talk about this and also yeah man like like share subscribe to the channel hit that bell because a lot of content of this nature is gonna be dropping and um i'm out peace out